A cruise ship vacation can be a great way to wind down and have an unforgettable experience. Some see it as a means to forget about reality, while others see it as an opportunity to flex some hard-earned coin. But regardless of the reason, Sailing the Seven Seas is designed to provide you with a utopic environment unlike anywhere else on planet Earth. However, for some, conducting themselves properly on board doesn't always come naturally. While on board, behaving yourself and acting somewhat normal in public may just be common sense. However, there's a couple things you should be aware of. Things that you do on land that you would consider typical habits for you may cause you to stick out on board a cruise ship and not in a good way. That's why for today's episode, I'm going to tell you 10 bad habits cruise ship passengers have. Before we sail into anything, I gotta put the disclaimer out there, even though I know some people aren't gonna pay attention to this because they probably left their brains in the car from their last cruise. But everything I say in today's video does not apply to every single passenger. Also, this is a YouTube video, so don't take things so personally. The first bad habit of cruise ship passengers is bad buffet etiquette. So we'll get right into the nitty gritty with this one. Look, y'all gotta do better, and you know what I'm talking about. First of all, stop picking up food with your hands please, there is a ladle and a set of tongs there for a reason, just use them. Also, don't pick up food just to examine it and put it back. I can promise you, whatever piece of Oreo cheesecake you pick up is going to be just as good as the rest of them, even if it has a little bit less of Oreo crumbles. If you're standing in line for some food and you have no idea what you want, please and respectfully get out of the way because I can assure you I do, especially if it's seafood night because you're standing in the way of me and some crab legs. Also, I think I speak for everyone when I say for all the parents out there and of course some adults, Please stop waterfalling the ice cream machine because to be honest with you, it's not exactly pleasant to see and I'm assuming if we are lucky enough to get buffets back post pandemic, it's going to be a big no no. So you might as well break the habit now. For number two, we have bad hygiene. So yes, I get it. You're on vacation and you want to not think about your regular life and the regular things you do back at home. However, showers should not be one of those things that you forget about. So this right here is soap. It's located all over the ship. You use this while you're in the shower to clean yourself with. This right here is deodorant. You use this for your pity pits. Here, you can take this with you. Now this right here is known as smell good. I guess the commoners would call this cologne. Specifically, we're talking about millionaire. Speaking of which, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So the point that I'm trying to make here is that when everybody's crammed up like sardines during boat drill, the last thing anybody wants is to be next to somebody that smells like one. And by the way, for those of you that are trying to sneak past the washy-washy guy at the buffet, please don't. The least you can do if you're not going to shower is sanitize your hands. Number three, asking the crew members way too many questions. So do you live on the ship? Do you have cars where you're from? Excuse me, have you seen the captain around? I'm trying to take a picture with him. Look, the captain is busy driving the boat, and as for the crew, they like being treated like people as opposed to just being the help, so questions are nice as long as they aren't too far out there. The fourth bad habit of cruise ship passengers is that some of them are seat hogs. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Up on the Lido deck, you guys hoard all the beach chairs, and then when you're not using it, you put your little book on top of it to mark your territory. What about me? Maybe I want to go out there and get my tan on or read a book. Obviously, I'm not going to tan because, uh, anyway, guys, you just have to understand that you have to learn to share because sharing is caring. Also, for the guys out there, I know that you may be saving the seat for your girlfriend or your wife. However, chances are she's probably talking to the big buff guy that she met on embarkation day, so she won't be back for a while. Bad habit number five, being late. This one can be awkward for anybody, whether you're on land or on a cruise ship. Nobody likes that guy that shows up to the comedy club late after it started. Then the comedian has to point you out because you've interrupted his show and you're distracting from it because you're walking down the aisles trying to squeeze into a seat. It just looks bad. Also, don't get me started on those people that are late back to the ship from the ports of call. I'm telling you right now, the ship will leave you. Best case scenario, you'll end up taking the walk of shame, and if you're in a port where you have two ships, where it's your ship and another ship side by side, everybody's going to laugh at you, and it's going to be pretty embarrassing. Moral of the story here, just don't be late, especially when it's getting back to the cruise ship, because if you are, aside from people laughing at you, I'm going to record you, and you're going up on my YouTube channel. For number six, we have smoking on the balconies. To all my smokers out there, trust me, I know it's hard, but we got to do better. Smoking out on the balcony is not a great idea because you got to think about, first of all, the cruise line you're sailing with. 
cruise lines in itself already have a bad reputation and obviously this pandemic didn't help anything. If you're taking your cigarette butt when you're done with it and throwing it over to the ocean, then it's gonna make things even worse. And think about the fish and the dolphins. What if they eat those? They're gonna get sick, all right? Also take into consideration your neighbor next door. They don't wanna consume all that smoke. All I'm saying is if you guys are gonna smoke, just at least be smarter about it. Obviously, nobody wants to take the elevator 10 decks up just to have a cigarette. So like I said, just be smart about it. Go in the bathroom, turn the shower on on hot water and let the steam mix in with the smoke. No, I'm kidding. Seriously, guys, don't do it. But speaking of elevators, we got to backtrack and talk about that one. Passenger bad habit number seven is poor elevator etiquette, if there is such a thing. I'll keep this one simple because elevator etiquette is essentially the same on land as it is on a cruise ship. So when getting on an elevator on a cruise ship, guys, stop cramming into the elevator. I promise you there is another one coming. Unless we happen to be turning into the sequel of Titanic, then there's no need to rush. Also, if you want to get on the elevator, please just wait for people that want to get off to actually get off before you come on board. And for the parents out there, if you have kids with you, do not let them push any of the buttons that people don't want to get off on. It's so annoying. For number eight, we have no spatial awareness on board. So I get it, the cruise ship's rocking back and forth and you're not a crew member so you don't exactly have your sea legs because you probably haven't been on the cruise ship for that long. That's completely understandable. This is also all pre-COVID so people didn't have to have much spatial awareness but now we got a social distance. I'm not talking about the average Joe or the average cruiser. I'm talking about a specific group in particular and that is the scooter people. Just so we're clear, I have absolutely no issue with somebody needing some type of assistance in order to get around on board the ship. All I'm saying is if you are going to do so, just follow the rules. And I'm not talking about everybody, but some of you out there, you can't follow with the flow of traffic. And more importantly, you have a big issue of running over people's feet. I know some of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. And by the way, I'm on to some of you. I once saw a woman hop out of her scooter just so she could start dancing because the cha-cha slide was her jam. For number nine, we have complaining. Time and time again, I've seen plenty of passengers go over to the service desk to complain about absolutely nothing. Nothing. One time there was a woman that went over and complained about the fact that she didn't get the exact origami towel that she wanted. She wanted to see the manager and everything. It was a big mess. She started yelling and screaming. But my point is, guys, you're on vacation. Relax. Do some crazy stuff. Have an adventure. Enjoy yourself. There is no reason to be angry about really anything. So if you made it this far, congratulations. You survived another episode of The Ship Life. Well, almost. Let's go ahead and get number 10 out of the way. The last and final bad habit of cruise ship passengers is the fact that they try to hook up with crew members. Now to be clear, obviously I'm not talking about every single cruise ship passenger, but I have seen this time and time again and I'm sure others have as well. I get the temptation, you're on a cruise ship for a week or two with a bunch of foreign people that you're probably never ever going to see again. So you definitely want to try your luck, it does make sense. However, you gotta understand that we know the game as crew members. You're there for a short time, we're there for a long time. Speaking on a location like the spa specifically, I know some people dream of getting the legendary happy ending during their massage. But even if it does happen from time to time on board cruise ships, it doesn't mean you should push any crew member to offer such a service. That's called harassment. Anyway, to conclude, if there's one thing that I absolutely love while being on board cruise ships, it's people watching because you'll see some crazy stuff. I guarantee when you go on a cruise, you'll probably see one of these things that I mentioned in today's video. But I am going to leave it right here. Is this accurate or no? Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe, share, of course. And also, if you guys want to check out some merch, it's right below. And if you want to support the channel even further as well, guys, you can, of course, join the Ship Life crew. You'll get priority in the comment section, early access to my videos, and so much more. I hope you guys are doing well out there, staying safe, social distancing, and all that other good stuff. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.